Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an animated before and after wipe transition in Adobe Premiere Pro. So I never really felt like this deserved its own video because it's somewhat simple, but I get requested it pretty regularly, so I thought I'd make this video and have something to point you guys to. And there's two ways that I like doing this effect to showcase any type of before and afters, especially for something like I do where I do tutorials where there's going to be a before and after effect. So let's say you have your original clip on the timeline and also you have your after clip. In my case, it's the same exact clip because I like to showcase different Premiere Pro effects. However, you could have like a makeup before and after or some house DIY stuff before and after if the camera was on a tripod or in the same shot. So basically utilizing layers, you're going to have one clip be the before and take the after clip and put it on top. And this could just be a copy of the original clip that you make. Now on the after clip, it's going to be different than the original. So let's say I had applied some type of effect. In this case, I'll go to the Lumetri Color Panel and I'll apply one of my cinematic color LUTs. These are available on my website. And let's say I wanted to showcase the difference like I did in that demo video. Just to make things even more apparent, I'll go to the original clip and I'll desaturate it all the way. So we're going to go from a desaturated clip to a color graded clip in an animated way. So way one and a really simple way is go to the Effects Panel open up the video transitions and find the wipe transition. Now crop in your after clip to the point where you want it to start animated in and take the transition and apply it onto the front of the clip. You can stretch it out to make the animation go slower. Now when I press play, you'll see that it wipes in from the left to right side. If you want it to go faster, you can make that transition slower. And in the effects control panel, you can make it wipe from the bottom right corner or straight across wipes. So that's a really easy and interesting one. Another way that you could do this with keyframes is by grabbing the crop effect. So I'll just take the crop effect, put it on the clip, and then you can start at the beginning, set the crop on either the left, top, right, or bottom with the stopwatch icon. So we could start at 100%, and then as we go in, we could pull it back to zero, which will reveal the original clip. And this is good for if you want to have some animation controls in the middle of the clip. So let's say after I pulled it all the way off, I want to pull it back on for a second just so they can get a quick peek at what it was again and then pull it back off to zero again. So this will let you wipe in the middle of the clip without needing to cut the clip. But that's really basically it. You can just use a crop or a wipe in most cases. And if you really want to get creative with it, any video transition will work. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like on it below. Let me know what you thought in the comments and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my new future videos. You can follow me on social media at Justin Odisho, like Instagram. If you want to catch the live streams, reach out to me and more. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.